shooting stars came crashing down And we're building back up again now I see your heart, see your mind, see all you hide I won't let you go, can't let this die When you lose yourself, I'll be right beside you Everyone, Derek here today bringing you yet another 2015 Mustang GT review. Many of you guys have probably seen this car, and this car actually belongs to my good friend Chris. You can follow him on Instagram at s550 underscore Chris. He's almost at 30k subscribers due to this car and absolutely built to the gill. So go follow him on Instagram, check out his photos. He He's a photographer as well, he takes his own photos and overall his Instagram page is just really, really well built. With this review, I'm not gonna go too much into the stock specs because if you've been following my channel, I actually reviewed a 2015 Mustang GT and it was the same color, same everything pretty much, but my friend Adams didn't have the Recaro seats and obviously didn't have the bags and the Whipple supercharger. So if you wanna check out the stock specs, click the link right here, that'll take you to that 2015 Mustang GT review. Be sure to drop a like on that video and we're just gonna jump on right into this. So really quick, many of you guys might know that Ford equipped these cars with a 5 liter Coyote motor, which are pushing about 435 horsepower to the crank and about 400 foot pounds of torque stock. But Chris actually threw a 2.9 liter Whipple supercharger on this car and let me tell you, it completely wakes the car up. You're coming from about 435 horsepower to nearly 700 or above 700. And we are unable to get the dyno sheets right now because we haven't made it to the dyno. That's going to be a whole different video. I can promise you that we'll definitely have the video on that and I'll have the the correct numbers for you guys when we get to that point. So Chris actually is sponsored by American Muscle and just looking at the car from the exterior you can absolutely see all the carbon fiber that is on this car and it's absolutely amazing because this carbon fiber stuff is not cheap and it's really high quality. Definitely giving the car weight reduction and overall it looks really good with this paint color. Dude, this fucking thing wants to go. Oh my god. Do you look clear, guys? Any cops? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get in trouble. That is so fucking quick. You better get all the way over here. Yeah, all the way over here. God get damn it. You're clear. Good. What gives this car a really unique look is the V2 airlift bags he threw on this car recently. Now, with the bags, you have a love-hate relationship with them. There's a lot of people out there that say it's no good for a Mustang because it ruins the handling. And, you know, overall, I just think Chris is going for power, obviously, and just stance and looks, to be honest with you. Like I said, he has all the carbon fiber. He threw on the new Raxium circular tail lights, and, you know, those are another love-hate type of thing. A lot of people are really fans of them, but... Chris is doing Chris with this car and honestly the response he's been getting with these are just amazing so with Chris's 2015 Mustang GT he has huge plans coming for this thing you know because he's already done absolutely everything there's nothing else you can do to this car it's on bags it's Whipple supercharged carbon fibered out interior is just absolutely gorgeous it's navigation all leather obviously Recaro seats I really don't think there's anything else you can do to this car besides like ripping out the motor and just replacing all engine internals which I don't know if he's done already but Overall, there's just nothing you can do. The reason why this Mustang sounds absolutely amazing is because he has stainless works, long tube headers with stainless works exhaust. I can't complain at all because the exhaust note this car gives off is just so satisfying. that he has on this car the black verde wheels really complements the car's color scheme it has the carbon fiber the red and the black and it looks absolutely amazing definitely one of my favorite 2015 mustang gts out there and i've said this before like when they first came out i wasn't a big fan of them but it's one of those things where you see the photos and you're like eh, it's, it's a, it looks all right but when you're in them in person and like you're cruising in them and you're around them all the time they really start to grow on you and it's just one of those cars that i'm really 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 starting to like and like I told you guys before, I'm actually looking for a Coyote to buy and if I can find one for around 25, 26 that has some light modifications done, 
that I actually might go and pull the trigger on a 15. I have no idea yet. So the reason why I'm jumping into another 15 today and talking about another one, I wanted to show you guys the two different projects you can have. You can have like the stock one and we went into all the stock specs on that other review. And then this one, like I said, it's fully built. This Whipple Supercharger definitely wakes up the car. When I first jumped into it, first gear, you know, you're trying to be easy on it, but you're just giving it a little bit of gas and the damn thing's jerking your neck back and forth. It's really hard to get used to, but that's just the kind of power you get when you're throwing on a Whipple. <laughs> that thing goes, let me tell you. Holy shit. We're already in like fucking nine. You feel all 700 horsepower around that area instantly. That's the great thing about a supercharger. Now, I reviewed some turboed cars and the turbo, you get on it and you get like the stock horsepower at first. I know it sounds weird, but when you hit boost, it's a little different. It really puts you in the seat with this. As soon as you step on it, that thing is gone. We friggin', we're hitting red lines so fast, you have to be really quick with it, but an absolute blast and definitely recommend anybody that's looking to blow their car definitely put a whipple on it just spend the extra money get the extra horsepower and you'll be totally happy with it when chris decided to purchase a mustang he was looking between a gtr or the 2015 mustang obviously now when he bought it he bought it brand new had 1.4 miles on it and in one single year he's done absolutely all these mods to it and like I said, we've talked about what's next in plans, what's what's he gonna do, and he really doesn't know, so he's keeping his options open. He might switch to a GTR in the near future, you never know, but until then, honestly, is really all we can do with this car, but I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, be sure to drop a like, share this with your friends. Like I said, his Instagram page, if you follow Mustangs, you've seen this car, but most importantly, guys, subscribe to the channel. We're growing every day, keep growing, and we're just gonna keep on going, making content, and having fun. So until next time, y'all take care. Now, up, up, in the way, moving on to better things, but I ain't talking riches, man, these riches leave you deaf and lame, lost and completely blinded, my vision is clear and never changed, constantly I'm reminded, how violent is broken, indicate the signs of the times, spending time with you, Lord, I never